103 meetings between Ohio State and Michigan, and never before has one been this hyped and lived up to all that hype. Coach, this has to be a wonderful feeling for you. Outright Big Ten champions, another win over Michigan. Well, and the biggest positive feeling is those seniors, yeah. you know, being a part of that outright Big Ten championship that they've been seeking. And, and uh, you know, when, when you play against a team as good as Michigan, and you know it's going to be a battle all day long, so proud of our kids for getting it done. I know it's a battle on your voice as you were calling them out yeah. out there. Uh, it has to be a little bit bittersweet from a coaching standpoint. Moment of silence before the game for Bo Schembechler. You know, I'm sure Bo and, and Woody are both very proud of, of the Wolverines and the Buckeyes after the way both teams played so hard. And Bo meant so much to the game. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure the whole University of Michigan community mm -hmm. uh, is going to take a while to grieve that. And, uh, you know, I was proud to be a part of us recognizing with 106,000 people, yeah. uh, you know, what he's done for college football. A lot of emotion swirling around the horseshoe on this particular day, and you add in, as you mentioned off the top, the seniors, Antonio Smith, one of the best guys out there. Well, I'll tell you, he's special. And Doug Daddish, captain, and just done a great job anchoring our line. You know, you got David Patterson, who just is a special person and uh, just done a great job up front, and Quinn Pitcock, I think those two are the best inside guys in the country, and I think this is the best player in the country. No question about it. Troy Smith has solidified uh, what we can say now that the regular season is over. I can say it. Heisman Trophy. I'm giving it to him on this show, at least. And uh, he right. proved it on the field. And we'll see plenty of him. But you saw plenty of this in the first drive. And that had to have you thinking about, uh, you know, rocking back on your heels here. Well, you know, Michigan did a great job of coming down the field and, and uh, finding some holes. And, and, you know, they're a good football team. They, they did that all year long. And, and uh, they got in the end zone there. And, and it was 7 nothing, and you knew it was going to be a battle. Yeah, seven plays, 80 yards, and, and stunned a little bit there. The fans were in the horseshoe, but the offense hadn't touched the ball yet. No, that's right, and good job there by Troy finding Teddy again, and, and uh, you know, we're moving around, and we got into our empty stuff pretty good and found some receivers and had good pass protection uh, from our big guys up front. Well, when you go to the empty set and you can still get – uh, that kind of protection without having to go max protection like you do sometimes. Well, that's right. And, you know, Roy Hall really put together a good first couple of drives, coming up with big plays as a senior. And then we had the little misdirection pass that Troy found Stan White, who gave great effort uh, getting out down inside the three-yard line. And then we went uh, to the pass, and Roy Hall coming up with the touchdown, and I think the first of four. Troy Smith. Yeah, and the four different receivers, so we'll get to call a lot of guys today throughout these highlights. 27th touchdown pass for Troy Smith, 14 play, 69-yard drive, 7-7 seven, seven game, and back on defense. Uh, good pressure there. I see Lawrence Wilson and, and uh, Curtis Terry in there, and the guys making plays. Mike Hart, how hard is it to tackle a guy like this? Uh, he just seems like a, a tough guy not just in any game, but especially in the Michigan game against a guy like this. Uh, he, he is a good football player, and, and the good players play well in this game, and he's a good one. Here, you know, Troy was supposed to hand that off, and he uh, saw that it was going to be a dead play and ended up pulling it down for six or seven yards for us. Took a good pop, but right up and uh, into the backfield again. And Chris Wells, I mean, this is the timing of this. Perfect. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. Chris Wells is going to be a great player, and, you know, when you do something like that in the Ohio State-Michigan game, that's special. Well, that's just a, a two-play drive right there into the end zone, 52 yards on the run, and it's a 14-7 game. All of a sudden, momentum back on your side. Well, and again, we're putting pressure, and they got a grounding call there. And, and you know, our defense is a high-pressure defense, and, and they kept coming after the Wolverines. And, and uh, it, was, it was a fun game to watch, both teams getting after it. And you go back on offense, and again, Troy, you see this all the time, just creating, buying time, and he finds Brian Rubisky, who makes a big play. You know, this was huge. We're trying to go down before the half. To, you know, we knew we needed to score as many points as we possibly could this ball game, and so we weren't going to just sit on it at the end of the second quarter. And good job by Antonio Pittman here, making plays for us, and the offensive line doing a good job. Here you see the, the fake on second and one, and, and we got him to bite up a little bit, and, and, and that was a huge play. Well, the play call is huge as well because you got Beanie Wells in there, and uh, the touchdown goes up top to Ted Ginn, Jr., and the score goes up 21-7. Now here you see Hart again. He's making some guys miss, and, 
The guy's a great football player. Well, that's what he does, makes guys miss. And, and you knew he was going to get you know, his share of yards out there. He just didn't want the big pops. Uh, that's right. Joel Penton on a big sack there. And you see Vernon Golston and, and uh, guys just relentless. Well, lost a set, loss of 10 on that play, and it's a second and 20. And a 37-yard touchdown pass. Adrian Arrington hauls it in. Well, they did a good job. They got us rubbed off in man coverage, and, and Henny found the open guy. And here we are, you know, storming back at him. You see a little boot play misdirection on our part. Uh, Anthony Gonzalez makes the catch, and, and uh, you see Troy going back again. He finds Brian Rabisky, and uh, we're moving it down before the half. Yeah, pickups, pickups of 12 and 17 yards there, and another 16 yards complete to Gonzalez. Yeah, Troy finds Gonzo, there's no question. It seemed like he had featured receivers for different drives. Roy <laughs> Hall caught, right. uh, caught several, now Gonzo's catching several here right. into the end zone. Well, at the timeout, Gonzo called that play. I know I always tell you he calls plays, but truly at the timeout, he said, here's what I can beat him on. That's what we did, and he beat him. What about the timeout? Uh, well, it wasn't a timeout, actually. Michigan... Uh, on, a sec on a first and ten, Pittman gets nine yards, so it's second and one. They want the chains out there because they were on their heels on, on the drive. Right, Michigan right. wanted to take a look at it, to take a break and all. Mm -hmm. You're thinking of something on the other side. If it's second and one, you've got the play called. Well, we did, and, and it was one of those hurry plays. Yep. And, uh, you know, we wanted them to think that we were just going to go for the first down, and our guys executed it tremendously, and uh, that was a huge play to Teddy for the touchdown. Yeah, the hurry play with Beanie in the backfield. They right. were just going to short yardage guy, just going to give it to him, and you go right. up top. Wonderful play call there. And when you talk about the different featured receivers, Roy Hall caught three in the first drive right. and the touchdown. Anthony Gonzalez catches three in that drive and the touchdown. It was like, you go to the hot guy. Well, not only that, it's probably a lot of the same plays, but they changed how they were covering the play, and so that's the thing about Troy. He's going to go to the open guy. He's not going to force it into a feature guy, and and uh, he makes good decisions. 28 to 14, there is only one decision for us. Come back for second half highlights. It is a wild one.